Hi. Okay, so normally I don't do reactions or whatever, but this one I just came across. It was on my recommended on YouTube, okay? So don't think I'm trying to pick on this girl. I'm not. I'm just giving a reaction. So apparently this is Miss Gabby uh, DiMartino. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so apparently she's like a uh, Ariana Grande impersonator. I actually was like obsessed with looking at her Instagram because of how she would literally imitate Ariana, which I don't know, I've always thought was awesome. And how she was in like the thank you next video and all. Yeah, anyways, <sighs> Stan, anyways. <clears throat> so apparently she has only fans, you know, not mad at her. Get your coin, sis, I understand. Um, but she uploaded a video of herself as a kid like in her underwear or something like that. I forgot how the story went, but this apparently is her apology. So let's watch it. All right. This video is gonna to touch on a very serious topic. So I'd like to insert a trigger warning. Recently, my lack of judgment and Poor decisions have led to a very, very serious issue that needs to be addressed. I owe it to you guys. As I was coming up with new ideas and new content. Okay, the, okay. This video reminds me of. I remember when, uh, you know, Riley, like Riley Simpson, you know, whole the versus the whole DDG thing, and she did like this apology video, but she never mentioned, um, his name. And her camera kept changing. Like, her camera angles kept changing. My thing is, I guess she's apologizing because I get she has to have a fan base and all that. I understand that. And she probably is truly sorry. But my thing is, if you're going to do an apology video, you can shoot the video all the way through. Why, would, why do you need to edit the video if it's a real apology? That's all I gotta say. I'll keep watching. And I was watching a home video with my family of myself as a three-year-old when my mom announced that she was pregnant with my younger brother. In that home video, I ruined a beautiful moment by telling everyone that I heard my nanny tell me to put my panties on through a stethoscope. It's a video that has brought back laughter and joy within my family. Another camera angle change. I'm gonna be real, um... I get trying to stay relevant and like trying to be in the media and trying to be like everybody wants to go viral. Everybody wants to be trending. Everybody wants to be number one trending on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, any platform, any social media platform. I get being a social media influencer and having to stay relevant because obviously you have to pay bills because that's still a job. I get it. But uploading like a child video of yourself. Like, when I first heard that she uploaded a video of herself as a child, I was fine with that until they said about her underwear, how she was, like, naked as a child. I was like, oh, that's, like, some child pornography type shit. I don't know what was going through her mind. I really don't, like, she's a gorgeous girl, but it's, like, like, what's in there? Like, I don't know what's going on. I hope she can come back from this. I mean, I'll just keep watching. Sorry. Years, and I shared it with what I thought was a funny caption. It's not funny. It was a quote from the video. Never in a million years did I think something that I thought was so innocent could be looked in such an ugly way. And I think that's where the problem lies. I realized I'm so disattached with reality that it didn't even cross my mind that this could be viewed like this. And that's a serious issue. It's not funny. It will never be funny. And it's not okay. And I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to my friends, my fans, my family, to anyone that I've hurt. I'm so truly sorry. And it was definitely a huge lack 
of my character and my judgment, and I know who I am in my heart, and I know that if you know me, you would know I would never condone anything like this. So it really hurts to know. So my thing is, um, celebrities do this all the time, and it gets really irritating. It doesn't really affect my life. This is just content. But it's like... I just see celebrities do stuff like this all the time. They do stuff, they get backlash for it or get called out, what it feels like in the past or whatever have you. And, you know, they're so sorry and they they say, oh, well, if you know me, you know I wouldn't do this. But sis, you did it, is the point. That's the point, but... I'm gonna let her live. Hold on. The pain that I've caused for so many people, my family, my friends, my fans, my supporters, even people who have just simply been triggered by my stupid, thoughtless action. To everyone, I'm very, very sorry. It was very insensitive and a poor representation of who I Another camera angle change. Like, are you... Like, I'm literally basically like live streaming this right now because I'm, I'm just screen recording this and just going to upload the video. I don't have to do edits. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's an apology video, why do you, why do you need to edit? I don't get it. I mean, you know, I guess she's going through something. She's dealing with a lot of hate and this is not a hate video. This is just my reaction. But it's like. I don't know. What... Okay, I'm done. I am and what I believe in. I would never do anything to exploit or harm a child. I'm so sorry. Truly, very sorry. This is a huge wake up call. I'm gonna step back into reality now and I'm gonna reflect and I love you guys and I'm so sorry. I, I'm going to grow and learn from this and I will come out of this a better person and I will do better. This was really wrong. I mean, you know, at least she acknowledges that she was wrong like i said that's not a hate video um she knows it was stupid obviously and i heard her only fans got suspended so i know that's her income so i know she has to do this apology that's the thing when celebrities see that they're losing fans they know that that's the income that's when you mess up their money you know like with uh what's her name uh charlie diamilo diamilio Lost a million, sis. And then uh, apparently she went to a hundred million somehow, like on a different social media app or something like that. But uh, yeah, so my reaction is, I don't know. Like I said, this was just on my recommended on YouTube. So I wanted to do a reaction on it because I don't even do reaction videos, but it's like, I don't know. I don't think she's sorry for what she did. She's just sorry she got caught off for it. And people was not feeling that shit. And now her OnlyFans is suspended and she can't get those funds. Mind you, she's already basically already has clout. You know, she's very popular on the Instagram platform. You know, by what she does, you know. So I know she already gets brand deals and stuff like that. But I just wish she would have really thought out everything before just doing it. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like, comment the content you want to see. My name is Pika, Pika Lene, signing out. Bye bye.